Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today, we're going to talk about this dude right here. Okay, it's going on 12 years old. 12 years I have had this a Harbor Freight 1x30 belt sander. The guard is off, the things are off. I don't use any of that kind of stuff on here. I will put a link to this below for you. Um, sometimes you can find a better deal at Harbor Freight for about 50 bucks. Sometimes a better deal is on Amazon on a link. Uh, again, these things vary all the time, so you gotta check it out. But I will also give you a link to all the belts and everything I use, which actually, if I turn you real quick, we'll bring you right back to this spot. But let's look here. You look up there, look at all those belts that I have. Sorry, you're on a tripod, I'm gonna wiggle you in there. Okay, all those sanding belts and all that stuff that's up there. And then that, uh, this is actually another leather strop, such as what we have on there right now. Okay, we got that leather strop on there. And I got a sanding belt right here. I got all the stuff we need for this, but there is nothing faster out there when it comes to actually doing a, uh, when it comes to sharpening a broadhead. I've not, there's no, no system that's better. There's no anything that's better. You get doors creaking. We got a hurricane coming in tomorrow. And so it's kind of getting a little breezy here for some stuff. Let me just close that so it doesn't make noise. There we go. But uh, this is, no, nothing does better than this. Now I've shown you a lot of broadhead sharpening videos, including how to use this. This is a refresher of that. But um, especially with these new heads, like this amazing razor head, okay? This head is, just again fighting lighting here but this head is phenomenal this is that razor broadheads um head this thing is like i said just straight up incredible on every kind of level i love this head this is a 250 grain and i killed a deer with this and then stuck it in the ground so it's kind of dulled out okay it's completely dull we need to do something to fix this to get this one back up and then i got a a boyer uh whoppity head here as well too we're gonna do this would take me to do it by hand, which I've been doing while I was in that rental house in St. Helen. I was doing all these by hand because this was already here. Um, it would take me about 35 minutes per head to do that. Now I can do it in under a minute and have it just as sharp, wicked crazy. Now I do finish all of mine hand stropping with the final, now I'll do the leather on here, but I do my final denim stropping on my pants like I've shown you guys in my other videos. But all we're going to do is we're going to put a, this is, what is this, 240? I think, yeah, 240 grand. 240, 400, 800. The 240 and 800 are the ones I use the most. Um, but we just slap that on there. That's why the guard is off the side. Just real quick and easy to throw them on. Pull the tensioner back here by hand. The belt comes on, you know, set the tensioner works this one. But you just set the belt on there. It's like that. Put it on there. Hit the tensioner. And it just feeds right on real easy. Okay, so now we got a belt on there. We're all good to go. Now, safety glasses are important. A wire brush is nice if you have any rust on your heads. If they have any rust on there anywhere that you need to get rid of, you can use a wire brush and just uh, knock any of that rust off there real quick like that. It does a pretty good job of cleaning that stuff off. Um, you know, fast and easy. If you got a buffing wheel on your, uh, on your bench grinder, you can also do that. But simple wire brush works good for that. Safety glasses. And then you need something, even though you're going to do this, before you go from setting the bevels and sharpening it into stropping it with a leather belt, you first have to have something to finalize sharp that. I use ceramic rods, Lanskis. These are down below in the links for you. So what we're going to do is we're just going to line this up. I do it freehand. I kind of know about where that bevel is. I'm going to come on here and I'm going to look at it and lay it and go, okay, where am I going to put that at? Where's that bevel hit? About right there. Okay. So now I kind of know where that bevel is going to be. I turn this on. We're going to run it across. Watch. Now look at it. That's good. Got a good edge, a good burr on the other side. That's nice. Done. Flip it over. Got that side. We got a burr on the other side. That's done. I'm over here on the back side. That's it. We just sharpen that head. Okay? That's all there is to it. Now this head in this stage. Will it? A little bit. Sharpen it a little bit. Now, what we got to do though, because we have burrs. We can feel them. We are going to take this ceramic rod and we are going to knock that burr off and put a final shaving on here for that side then we're going to go to this side 
get rid of that burr. I can see the metal flakes coming off on here from where that burr was formed. Now we're going to hit that back edge because it's single bevel just a couple of times. Okay, we're going to hit that again and hit that back edge just a time or two to knock that burr off. We're going to check it. Now she'll scrape here. Look at Pulling it right off there, just like that. Now the final stropping is where the key is. That's where all that comes in together. Check everything here and make sure. No, I'm still feeling a burr there. Again, these heads can get pretty hard. Let's get rid of that burr. That did not shave as well as I expected it to. Sometimes you get a little overconfident here. Don't, don't get too cocky. That one there, we st well, still a little bit. These hard, like this A7 tool steel, 58 rock, well, I mean, this has got, it, it, it's, some, it's some tough steel. You gotta, gotta work it there for a sec. Let's see, there we go. Now we're hitting good. Take that edge off that side. There we go. Take this side. Okay, see how that is now without stropping. There we go. Now we're popping those hairs right off. Now let's drop it. See what we do. So we pop this belt off. We throw that there. We put this one on. You got both a weak or a rough side, soft side. I usually use the soft side for this. Or I mean the smooth side, not soft, smooth. Put that on there. We'll run this across. Almost no pressure. Just feel that hair right off there like nothing. That's all you need to do. So now that's sharp but we want it scary sharp so in the house i will actually hand do that on the denim and fine tune that but as you see that's ripping hair right off of there now perfect and uh, that is good and sharp and it took what a minute and a half on here so a belt sander is a fantastic sharpening tool that just it speeds everything up yes you could do it by hand yes it's important to know how to do it by hand and uh you know there's skills that you want to have but i'll tell you what i am so happy to have the, to be back at this like i said after spending the last uh you know seven months living in a rental house without this and sharpening heads by hand this is a gold mine same idea on this head got our burr created on both sides again we just touch this up you know again we're cleaning up that burr getting rid of the burr making sure we got a good edge on there burr off of both sides so you can see it flaking off little silver dust particles falling from there there we go flip it to this side same thing, just knock that burr off of there. Okay. 
because anytime you're sharpening from the ferrule out to the edge you're going to create a burr on the edge so by doing this you know I'm going into the ferrule from the blade okay from the blade into it that's knocking that wire edge off of there and getting rid of that and making sure that we are down to good solid edge that wire edge is a burr the burr that's formed creates the wire edge and this just makes sure it's not there okay so there we go like a so perfect good now turn this on give it a quick strop in on here oh, I helps if I put the strop in belt on there but just life is easy with this and again I do still hand strop at the end when I'm all done for that extra bit of extra scary sharp No pressure, barely touches. Let the belt do the work for you, but that again, right there, shave and sharp, peels right off perfectly. But again, we're not done, we're gonna hand do that. But again, what we're talking about here is I just sharpened two heads in about a minute and a half per head, which again, you know, takes a lot more time to do by hand. This little gold mine right here, this little gem, best friend I have. This thing here is ultimate. Um, you can use paper wheels, you can use round wheels. Round wheels give a convex edge. I'm not a big fan of them. I like a flat. I use the bar right here as a flat surface when I'm doing that. Um, and so it's a flat sharpening profile. But as you see right there, we have two wicked perfect sharpened heads. Again, I know the lighting's kind of tricky in here. But we got them right there, and they are done, set, and ready. And uh, like I said, about a minute and a half ahead, nothing to it. Little tip for you, Harbor Freight 1x30 belt sander, most valuable thing you can have as a bow hunter. I just got it C-clamped here. I got a C-clamp here and another C-clamp here, clamping it right to my table. So it's easy to move and pull out of the way if I need to, but life is good. Simple, as easy as it gets. Thanks for watching.